Mummies and daddies don't cry. Like, really? What do you think about that? Well, that's what my son, a four-year-old boy, told me just a few weeks ago when, got, when I got really sad news. I couldn't help myself. I just got devastated. My phone dropped in the floor. I couldn't stop crying. And he was so shocked, of course. Just a few minutes before that, we were dancing and playing and having a great time. So, of course, he came to me and asked me, Mommy, what's going on? And I couldn't answer. I answered to him, but I hugged him tightly. And I said, Mommy, got really sad news. But I'm going to explain you tomorrow what was happening. Um, and then he said, OK, Mommy, but mommies and daddies don't cry. Oh, that got a little bit in my head, but I was in the middle of my grieving and I just couldn't wait for him to go into his bed and just have my privacy in my bedroom so I could keep crying the whole night. Well, the next day, I made sure I had the time to talk to him and explain him what, what happened to me and why I was crying like that. I made sure he understood, so I asked him, like, now you understand why mommy was so sad and why I was crying. So he looked at me like, mm, yeah, I kind of understand why were you sad. But he said again, but mommy, daddies and mommies don't cry. And that creates so much noise into my head that got stuck. Like, it bothered me so much that I didn't even want to get deeper into that. But I said, like, but wait a minute, you have seen me crying. And he said, yes, mommy, but not like that. Right there, I knew I had a lesson to learn because it creates so much noise in my head. Like, why is, what is that? And then quickly, it came to my head, it, it came to my mind so many times that I have been hiding from him my emotions, my sad emotions. So I have been waiting for him to go to bed before I start crying. I have been waiting for him to get into his daycare before actually start crying. I have been waiting for him to leave my car before showing any sad emotions. Oh, well, um, I got an answer there, but I knew I had to go deeper. So I kept, I kept wondering myself because I really like that thing. Like I always keep wondering like, why? When something bothers me in my head, I'm, I, kept, I keep going like that, like, why, why? And I always say it on my Spanish videos. Um, that I always, when I don't, uh, don't get an answer, I keep asking myself, why, why, till I get an answer. And then I got my answer. My answer was that I have never seen my dad and my mom crying, and I never seen any parent crying in front of our children. So that's why I think I, I naturally tend to hide those sad emotions from my son. I sure have crashed many times, but I have made sure to put a mask before doing that. So I have been hiding that vulnerable side of myself. So he always sees me like a superhero, right? And that's exactly what happens um, for many kids that then we grow up as an adult, as a parent, and then we don't know how to cope in front of our children when difficult times happen to us because we follow that pattern that we do have to wear, again, a mask and then pretend that we're superheroes. We're making it so hard to our kids. So when they grow up, they have difficulties and they don't know how to handle those with their children. They just need to hide before actually showing them that they are real, that they have feelings, that they, they do cry, they do crash, we, do, we all do it. We just don't need to keep hiding it so much from our children, we're making it so hard on them. Especially now that we're going through pandemic, like a global pandemic that has been around for months now. And we are now literally surviving from people, from losing people that we deeply care about, from losing our jobs, savings, houses, etc., etc., etc. We have already so much to deal and so do, so do they. So showing them a real side is actually giving them a good present. It's actually giving them the relief that we are real people and we don't have to wear superheroes, customs, or masks. I really hope that this message gets 
to the right person at the right time.